Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. The Ohio State Buckeyes come in at number two in our way too early top 25, fresh off an 11-2 season that some viewed as a disappointment. Ohio State lost in week two to Oregon and did not lose another game until a season finale to Michigan. But that game ended up being the most costly out of the two that they lost. The loss to Michigan obviously was not ideal for anybody, especially when the Buckeyes have dominated the game for the last two decades. But that loss to Michigan prevented Ohio State from getting to the Big Ten Championship, which ultimately prevented them from getting a shot at the college football playoff. Ohio State went on to the Rose Bowl, where they defeated Utah in an instant classic 48-45, to but now they're prepared, going into 2022, to find a way to get back to the Big Ten Championship, to reclaim the Big Ten East, and to get back to the college football playoff. So guys, again, thank you so much for joining us here at the Gridiron Expert here on YouTube. Please continue to like, comment, subscribe, share our videos. We've got non-stop college football content for you guys from now all the way until the season begins. That's going to include game-by-game -game predictions for teams like Ohio State, but also every other team across the entire country. So if you love college football, if you love analysis, if you love predictions, hot takes, this is the place for you. So join our Gridiron team, guys. Join our GE Nation today by hitting that subscribe button, by hitting that like button, or just leaving a comment on how you think Ohio State is going to do in 2022 so you can become in the loop, get in the loop with us here, and that way you don't miss out on any of the other content we have going forward. So we take a little bit of a deeper look at Ohio State, just like we've done with every team so far in our top 25, guys. We kind of give you a brief outlook of the season, then dive into the schedule. Again, Ohio State 11-2. and For many teams, they would kill for that type of record. They would kill for that type of season. But the Buckeyes aren't content with Rose Bowls. They want national championships. And they certainly have the coaches and the players to do that, to contend for a national championship. Obviously, in 2021, the biggest issue for Ohio State was their defense. Defense was very lackluster at times. They were against Oregon. They were against Michigan. They had a very difficult time at stopping the run. Well, now they bring in a brand new defensive coordinator in Jim Knowles from Oklahoma State. Without a doubt, one of the biggest offseason moves out of all the coaches across the country that to me wasn't talked about nearly enough. Knowles did a phenomenal job in Stillwater with Oklahoma State. The Cowboys had one of the best defenses in the country in 2021. He's hoping to bring that now to Columbus. We know that Ohio State is going to have one of the best offenses in the country. You've got a quarterback in C.J. Stroud coming back, and you've got one of the best wide receivers in the country in Jackson Smith Njigba, all back on offense. That's just two main players, but arguably one of the best, if not the best, quarterback wide receiver duo in the country. They're back on offense, and I don't think the offense is going to miss a beat. Offense was great last year. I think they're going to be even better now in 2022. This team, guys, for Ohio State, once again, is elite. There's no doubt about it. They're ranked number two for a reason. They are a Big Ten favorite for a reason. They are a favorite for many to get back to the college football playoff for a reason. But when you look at the schedule, the path to another Big Ten title, I know they missed out last year, but the path to winning the Big Ten, the path to getting the playoff is not easy. It is full of opportunities, but it's also full of areas where they could slip up. And that comes out right off the gate, right out of the bat. Week one, Notre Dame in Columbus. That is not an easy game for the Fighting Irish, certainly not an easy game for the Buckeyes either. Uh, this is going to be one of the marquee matchups of Week 1. Uh, and I think, it's for me, it's obviously a bigger game for Notre Dame than it is for Ohio State. Because let's keep in mind, you know, Ohio State lost in Week 2 last year to Oregon. Had they defeated Michigan, they would have defeated Iowa, and they would have been in the, in the college football playoff. So one loss does not ruin Ohio State by any means, especially if it is earlier in the year, especially if it is against a non-conference foe. Notre Dame, they need this win. A road victory over a top-five team. Uh, because we know Notre Dame doesn't have a conference championship. We know that every game certainly matters for Notre Dame, and that one loss could keep them out of college football playoff discussion. This game against Notre Dame is going to be huge. Huge game for Marcus Freeman coming into the horseshoe, uh, but also an opportunity for, Notre, uh, for Ohio State to try to flex their muscles a little bit on defense, show that Jim Knowles has come in and transformed some things. Uh, again, a huge resume-boosting win for whoever comes out victorious on September 3rd. They get two kind of cupcake teams in there, Arkansas State in Week 2, Toledo in Week 3, and then they get into the bulk of Big Ten play. And I will say, if you look, Ohio State does not get a favorable draw out of the Big Ten West. They draw Wisconsin at the end of September. They draw Iowa middle of October. But the one thing that stands out to me more than anything is the fact that Ohio State gets both of those Big Ten West teams at home. Ohio State gets both of them in Columbus. How fortunate is that? Camp Randall Stadium, not an easy place to play. Kinnick Stadium, not an easy place to play. These two teams in Wisconsin and Iowa are certainly going to be two of the top 
contenders in the Big Ten West in what seems to be a wide open division, but two of the favorites there, and Ohio State gets to host both of them. You really can't top that. After Wisconsin, they get Rutgers. They beat Rutgers 52-13 to last year, and that is the game, the last game for me before Ohio State jumps into their big stretch of the season, the one that will ultimately, I think, define their year. I mean, the bookend games of Notre Dame and Michigan are huge, obviously, huge games, but if you're looking for a key stretch, it starts on October 8th against Michigan State, and it ends on October 29th against Penn State. So three games, three games, because they have that bye week on October 15th. At Michigan State, Iowa, at Penn State. Uh, the two bigger ones obviously going to be the Michigan State and Penn State games because those are two Big Ten East opponents and both of those are coming on the road. Ohio State beat the Spartans last year 56-7. to 56-7 in a top 10 showdown. They beat Penn State 33-24 to last year and I will go out and say right now that I think Penn State probably will be the tougher of those two teams uh, to face off against. In Happy Valley, potentially the white out game we have seen some classics between Ohio State and Penn State in recent years. And if I were Ohio State, I might be slightly more afraid of Penn State on the road than I am of Michigan State on the road. Again, I'm not really seeing a 49-point swing for the Spartans in 2022. But again, we're not here to predict any games right now. But those three games are going to be difficult, guys. Potentially all top 25 teams when Ohio State faces them. Two of the three are coming on the road. Uh, one slip up there, I'm not saying ruins Ohio State season by any means. Because you slip up to any of those teams and win out they're going to get to the Big Ten Championship game, and they're probably going to make the college football playoff. There's, there, you can't dispute that. They're still in contention, without a doubt. Ohio State, a lot of these teams in these elite conferences have a room for error, one room for error. And I think if Ohio State is going to slip up in a key stretch, it's going to be right there. Michigan State, Iowa, or Penn State. None of those easy games at all. Because you look at the month of November, the toughest game in the month of November is the game, Michigan. At Northwestern, they draw them out of the West. Northwestern coming off a very disappointing 2022 season. Indiana, they beat the Hoosiers 54-7 last year. The Hoosiers had a remarkable 2020, followed up with a 2-10 2021. So getting back to stereotypical Indiana football. At Maryland, they defeated Maryland 66-17 last year. And Maryland is a team, in, in the month of November, if you want to say two tough games, it would be Maryland and Michigan. Uh, Maryland's a team that's certainly on the rise. Got that big bowl victory finally under Mike Loxley defeating Virginia Tech. That game comes right before Michigan. It's on the road, so Ohio State could be looking forward to that Michigan game, especially with revenge on their mind. Maryland certainly is a trap game, no doubt about it. But Ohio State, no doubt about it, is the superior team. And then you close the year out with Michigan in Columbus, Ohio State wanting revenge over the Wolverines after falling to them 42-27 to last year, the game that, again, ultimately kept them out of the Big Ten Championship, ultimately kept them out of the college football playoff. That's going to be the big one for Ohio State. So again, if you're looking at, at their schedule, it really comes down to the bookends. The first game of the year in Notre Dame, the last game of the year in Michigan, and three big ones right there in the middle, all in the month of October, between Michigan State, Iowa, and Penn State. Those are the five big games for Ohio State this year. Ohio State in the elite team, they have a fantastic coach from Ryan Day, one of the best defensive minds in the game now in Jim Knowles, a fantastic quarterback wide receiver duo in C.J. Stroud and Jackson Smith and Jigba. And again, guys, if they can fix that defense just a little bit, Ohio State will find themselves back in the college football playoff. Not just the Big Ten Championship, but the entire playoff. This team is legit, and right now, they are my Big Ten favorite. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching us here at the Gridiron Expert on YouTube. Please continue to like, comment, subscribe, share our videos. Make sure to check out everything down in that description below. You do not want to miss out the content we have for you going forward. So become a part of our Gridiron Expert team, guys. Become a part of the GE Nation by hitting that subscribe button, by leaving a like, by commenting down below. Tell us how you think Ohio State's going to do. We want to hear from you. We want you to be a part of our college football community. So help us out and help our channel grow. And once again, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on The Gridiron Expert.